Hi there and welcome to Bustanet. Yes, these are the Daily Bridge Diaries. A chance for me to play with the lower league side. We're getting ready for this big match against Barcelona coming out. A quick update on where we are thus far. After that win over Leipzig, we kind of beat Arsenal 3-0. You know, this was a good this was a good day in the office. We completely hit them on the break. <laughs> I was like, okay, this is good. Arsenal, they're already attacking with all the scoring. Seems like justice in the world to me. But we use Firefox good against Arsenal. Okay. So, this, I, you have to remember, this is Staley Bridge Celtic, not Liverpool. So, we have to understand our limitations. Then we've got Chelsea. Against Chelsea, Liquid 4 1 2 3 against Chelsea. I decided to give it a go. I was lucky. Right, Gaetan came, scored us the goal, but we didn't really create a lot of opportunities. We didn't get a lot of clear-cut chances in this game. Um, and we, I, in my opinion, we were lucky because uh, we could have lost this game. Uh, we just defended quite well for some strange reason. And then against Man City in the FA Cup, we got thumped. Let's not watch that. <laughs> okay. uh, Stoke City 1-1. Uh, uh, again here, Stady Bridge, we used Liquid because Stoke City, I thought, hey man, we can beat Stoke. Big deal. <laughs> Didn't really work out very well for us because we ended up 1-1. One, one. But the good news is we're top of the table. Yes, as you can see, we haven't lost because the strategy has been simple. For really tough games, I go Firefox good because we're not that good yet to play Liquid. I mean, let's be realistic. My team play Liquid, people are going to say, I am GCSA exploit. So I'm going to go Firefox good, which makes a lot more sense with this team because then I can be a bit more defensively minded. I can, you know, attack one side and, you know, try overloads, try small little things and hope that we can win games. So we are going to play uh, a match against uh, Barcelona very soon. We've got Martino, which is at 86%. For me, 86% is enough to start a game. Gary Hallam, Jorge Barros, Lucky Malti, Makea, House, Strunk. Um... Gaetan is suspended for this match because the genius had to pick up a red card in the Leipzig game. So, yeah, so that's 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 done. Uh, why Girardi and not Lucky Malti? Basically, I look at form guide, right? So the form says uh, stats, uh, Champions League, he does better than the other guy. Yeah, but I think that's because Gaetan is there on the you know on the right flank. But yeah, we'll have to try. We'll have to play this by ear. We're going to play against this very strong Barcelona side. And so far, the strategy of using my one uh, system that's a bit more defensive with Stady Bridge is working. Against the against really tough competition, I don't want to play um, Liquid because I, I'm just going to ask for trouble. Michel, Luzio, the Cavalio. This is what I want to see. Like, you know, I get like one flank going up the pitch. Hopefully, you know, we can put pressure on them. We don't commit too many players. Uh, because when you play very fluid, there's a lot more creative freedom. Our players are gonna... And there we go. Doesn't make much of a freaking difference. We disallowed. Thank God for that. Okay. Oh my goodness. How did this happen? Yeah, you're bloody offside. You genius. The boys were playing well. So we're playing balanced. Okay. Alright. Uh, maybe I'll go to positive. Uh, slightly high up. Pass into space. Be more expressive, okay. Yeah, we, we are not very good. Uh, I think the boys can afford to be thinking a bit more out of the box. That's how I look at you know, people have asked me this question be more expressive and be more disciplined. Sometimes we see you using different things. Um, why they're both creative freedom modifiers. Essentially, what you want to tell how I think about it is like it's, it's not very complicated. Um, with a really good team, sometimes it pays to be more disciplined. Why? Because you think about it, they probably, out of the 10 decisions they can possibly make, 8 of them are probably quite good because they are, and their attributes are better. Now, with a weaker side, uh, chances are they, they need to process more decisions, right? So they, they're going to think about more things. I mean, they, they, they don't have that wealth of experience and knowledge to... Uh, guide them on the right decision. So sometimes they, they're limited. It's like children. Right? Sometimes you want a child to learn something. The child is scared. So you tell the child, you know, try it out first before you know. So some of these players, I think they'd they be, they be more suitable if they'd be more expressive. So that's how I look at it. It's a very logic. I mean, it's a very simple way of do, looking at it. But it's worked for me so far. 
Because I think sometimes too much creative freedom is what the Corp Diaries is seeing at the moment. Um, so sometimes I, I, I'm inclined to be more disciplined in some of the games. Um, you haven't seen it yet, but sometimes I do that in some of my matches. And yeah, that becomes an approach that I take with some of my games. Well, so far, we're defending quite well. So 28 minutes into the game. Uh, and there we go, Bulka gathers the ball. Finally, all those corners have ended. Uh, possession 53%, which is the reason why I went past into space. Because I can afford to... Well, I, what I can do is remove this. Yeah, actually... But now it's, I'm hitting early crosses, right? So if there's space, then fine. Um, we'll, have to, we'll have to pay more attention. I should stop talking and start paying more attention to the game to see whether pass into space is a good idea. Uh, tactically, it seems to be because they've got one wing back on attack here on the right flank. But we're not going down. We're go not really going down the right flank. We're going on the left flank. Um, with our build-up play. Fabio, that's a good save from the keeper. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this and try and keep the ball a bit more. See out the end of the first half. Because I think the first half has been brilliant. Because we managed to survive the onslaught from Barcelona. Okay, so would would it be better for me to use liquid or not on not on your life? I, I would have come in here if I used liquid I would I definitely would have lost. I'm far from please. They all go green, that's even better. Lewis with the ball to Ruben Diaz. Ruben Diaz plays it to Demers to Ndidi. Hmm Ndidi is a yellow card. Run a defense please. Thank you. Okay. I just look at one player I want to go I want to run in defense. I'm such a genius, am I not? So this is going to be a stupid decision that I just made. Why? We're probably going to lose the ball. But let's just see what happens. And Nadone to Bowler, out to Cuesta. Cuesta looks... ah, The idea was good, but the execution was not so good. Demers to NDD. Come on. Go. Now we are not playing... Uh, yeah, we're playing a standard line of engagement. I'm being a big, big coward at the moment. Oh, it's true. Fabio. Martinovic. <laughs> what a day for Martinovic. I'm so happy. Don't continue. Don't be an idiot. Oh, man. Indeed, he scores. I, I mean, to be honest with you, I don't expect us to beat Barcelona. I wanted to stay in the game. Right? So, so now I'm going very attacking. <laughs> okay, my genius ideas. Okay. I'll pass it to space. Mm. Stand. I'm gonna drop this slightly. Yeah, we're gonna go for it. I, I don't know if it's gonna work, but hell, man. Uh, but no run into defense. Run at defense is not really gonna work right now because my plays aren't that good. I mean, I mean, why am I running at defense? I haven't even had a shot on goal yet. Coutinho with a free kick is gonna bury this. No, if it's one nil, we still have a chance. If it's one one, we definitely gonna go through. <laughs> I think so. Come on, bowler. Oh no, come on, Sule, Ruben Diaz, Ruben Diaz, uh, yeah, we're not. It's over the top, and it's it's almost a second goal. Okay, what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to go high line of engagement. I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to let them out. Vasquez quest, inside the box. Oh my god, Basin Bulka is keeping us in this game. One boys, last, last, last. Thank you very much. 73 minutes. 75 minutes. Come on, boys. We just have to hold Barcelona. It's just 1 nil. There's still a chance. Michel Aluzio, free kick. The Stegen makes a save. It's Sule. Luis. Ndidi. Ruben Diaz. The boys are trying to put pressure on them. It's. Yes, the equalizer! <laughs> the equalizer! It worked! It bloody well worked! Okay, now skip. Okay, now we're gonna drop back to attacking team instructions. Pass into space. Boys, pass into space. Just pass the volleyball into space. Highlight our engagement. It's a late equalizer. It's. A few minutes left on the clock. This is it. We have the ball. It's enough. We've done it. We've done it. 
Oh, we have FM Barcelona at the Nou Camp. Oh, man, this is phenomenal. Oh, I'm passionate. Everybody thought we'd get beaten. I thought we'd get beaten. <laughs> I was like, we're not going to get past Barcelona. This is impossible. It's an impossible situation for us. Who is playing? I mean, really, I don't even know who's playing in the Barcelona squad. Who the hell played? I'm like, wow, I'm like so excited. Mersturgan must be 45 years old, he's 34. Okay, you got Ruben Diaz. You know, we all know who he is before the, this player. Nicolas Sule. Defender Centre. He's not okay. He's not that fantastic. World Creed is like, what? Really? You play for Barcelona? 31 years old? Oh, that's probably why his work is dropping as well. Carlos Gallegos. Oh, this guy is not bad. But still, you know, the, you think that they could do better with developing their players, right? Piet Demas. 23 years old. This guy looks, he looks like a talent, man. This guy is really good. Personality is balanced. Wilfred Ndidi, 30 years old, still playing, but your attributes are going to drop like a rock, man. Philip Coutinho, 34 years old, still playing for Barcelona. My goodness, haven't you haven't you gone into coaching yet? <laughs> we got, who are these players? We got David Estrada. Isn't he an actor in a television series called Starsky and Hutch or some other show like Chips? <laughs> David Estrada. I mean, seriously, fickle. What is Barcelona doing with their players? They're destroying them. I mean, fickle. Don't you want to mentor this guy and get rid of his personality? I mean, look at this. Diago Bay, balance. I mean, I would think that Barcelona, they would have done something, right? I mean, you think that they're managing this club properly. Okay, we got one model system. That's fine. I think it's not... I mean, maybe it's doing it. I don't know. Ruben Neves, uh, they, they probably... Yeah, they took this guy from some other club. Uh, 59 million on rotation. This, hey, this Barcelona side are beatable, man. They're not that good. They are not that good. I can knock them out. We can because we look at my players. Michel Aluzio isn't that bad. He can go to 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 with them. We got David Martinovic. My defender can go to 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 with their defenders. I got Excel to ZB. Why was I such a big coward in this game? I should no. I'm I'm still not gonna play. Um, I'm still not gonna play liquid against them because they are still the better side, right? On paper, so they, it must count for something in this game. But we really managed to steal this man. Training. I'm gonna have to come up with a. A training program specifically for this this match is coming up. So I'm looking at the calendar going, what should we do for the Barcelona game? For The uh, the next time I play Barcelona, I'm going to have a slightly different schedule there. Where is it? I don't see Barcelona. I'm so, I'm so pumped up right now. Ah, there we go. Quickness, recovery, team bonding. Okay, that means between now and Barcelona, we are going to have a totally different schedule. I'm going to have more attacking movements, more everything here, attacking, attacking, all the way until this game. So we're going to have attacking set pieces as well. So we're going to have attacking corners. Then I'm going to do uh, attacking, uh, no, not this. It's not really help. Now I'm going to do chance conversion, chance creation, all the technical ones. Right, the overall, if we get it, technical, chance conversion, uh, attacking. This can help with Attribute development. Okay, so but I'm gonna go tactical here, attacking shadow play. Uh attacking shadow play. I, I tend to do this so that's sometimes my my uh training doesn't really <laughs> seem like I'm I I'm I have to be very careful how I mess with my So all this right up into this attacking corners attacking movement, then this match this one will be uh Attacking again, technical, ball distribution, technical, ball, retention, team bonding can go out of the window. And we got uh, technical again, chance creation, technical, chance conversion. Um, I have to put Match preparation, attacking movement, uh, set pieces, set piece delivery, attacking set pieces, set pieces, uh, attacking corners. So we, this is I just tweaked this for the big match against uh, 
Barcelona. So all the way until the Barcelona game, we're doing like attacking, attacking. And this this won't kick in. There won't be a doubling. That's for sure. But uh, attacking corners. This will this will, this will kick in. I mean, this this attacking movement and attacking corners will kick into Leicester's game. But this delivery and attacking corners will kick into Barcelona's game. Then I can oh, I have to do recovery here as well. So I'm gonna have to tweak these training sessions for the big game against Barcelona. But boy. We have a chance, man. We have a chance. I thought we were gone. I was already prepared to do our eulogy. You know, that was the end. I was expecting a hammering of 4-0, 5-0 against Barcelona. But we have survived because Barcelona are pretty crap in this game. I mean, it's 2027. They don't deserve to be in the semi-final. Staley Bridge deserves to go through. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Staley Bridge Diaries. If you have any questions, please look me up on Twitter at Bustanet or addicted to fm.com, my website. Once again, I want to thank all my patrons for the continued support of this channel. Make this kind of show possible for the rest of the community. You guys take care. Have a good one. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.